Pinky Fingered Cat here and today I fancy doing something a little bit different and having a bit of a play. Um, I grabbed a piece of packaging, absolutely no idea what this has come from but never mind, um, and thought right this has been cut down into a shape but it's not really a particularly exciting shape so I'm going to turn this into a panel and then see what happens. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so this is now five inches by five inches uh, square panel. I know it needs a bit of um, a tidy up on the edges, but I'm going to sort that out afterwards. Uh, but at least now I've got a, a square shape that I know I can use. It's quite a sturdy card. Um, it looks like it's got a very fine corrugated centre core to it. Um, so first thing I'm going to do, give it a coat of gesso. So I've got white gesso, which is the Winsor & Newton Artist's Acrylic range. So, what have I got here? Uh, I believe that's a metallic one and that's a metallic one and the others are all standard gelato. So I've got grape, cotton candy, boysenberry, blueberry and lavender. So I'm going to start with these two. Lavender. This now feels pretty dry. It's dry enough to certainly start. And I'm going to start laying down some colour. Now, I'm going to take a baby wipe, which I've just wiped my fingers off on, but that should be fine. Let's clear a bit of space. And now I've got this fab, massive stencil that's got paint all over it, but that really doesn't matter. And I'm going to wipe some off. Hmm, I think there is probably a good place for it to be. So all I'm going to do is, quite lightly, because I don't want to take everything off, I want to have gradation uh, is that a word and have layers which are poking through that's perfect right now what's actually happened is i've probably rubbed a little bit too much so we've actually lost some of the gesso underneath as well but that's okay i can cope with that
going to do is just have a little delve in my Artful Days box from February and I've got some papers that I have cut into and made another project with. I don't know if they're going to be suitable or maybe that one might be better. Hmm. So I'm going to have a little experiment now. Um, I've been doing the um, wrinkle-free distress type backgrounds a lot with distress uh, oxide inks because I'm slightly obsessed with them at the moment. So this is quite a challenge not to use them in this project. That's the whole point of this project is don't use distress oxides. But I really wanted to add some sort of watercolour to these pieces just to make them blend in a little bit more. So I thought, right, well, let's see if this works with the gelatos and it does so the one thing that i think will be very different from the distress oxides is when it's on this dark color because we don't have the same level of opacity with distress oxides that uh, with the gelatos that you do with the distress oxide so i'm not entirely sure how much when it's dried that blue for example is going to show up on that piece have a little bit more pink or lavender whatever it is and you know what even if it doesn't show up much it's probably enough for what I want I just wanted them to feel like they were more part of the canvas than um, they were when they were just the the white and brown I think I might need to add um, some colour to that now it's gone white. I'll leave those to one side for the moment, but I did have this brad as well that I quite fancied using. Okay, so I've skipped forward partly because I didn't know that the camera had stopped recording and I'm wittering away to myself, um, completely unaware of the fact that it had stopped recording. So, what have I done? Well, I've stuck all the pieces down, I used some gel medium and then some high tack glue, being really careful to try and not disturb the gelato's background because it is a water-based medium so it will come off when you start to activate it with any kind of liquid. Um, I've also done a tiny little bit more stamping using the Seth Aptor stamps again, using these, this top one just because I felt like it needed a little bit more to pull it into the into the canvas. So that's where I'm up to. I have also, I've added the brad that I think I was just talking about at the end of the other video, uh, the other part of the video. And I've also added some colour to my word um, because I didn't like it as white, but I'm also not particularly liking it like that either. 
because I just don't think it's clear enough. So it's time to add some more gesso. Okay, so some people might think I've just lost the plot completely because I've just basically covered up almost all of the middle part of my canvas, my, my piece of art, but I think that gives a much better, clearer um, message and, and picture than if it was to be trying to layer it up on too, top of too much pattern. But having said that, I'm going to go and add a little bit more colour. What I've got are these um, metallic gelatos and I just think they will add a nice touch if I sort of add them in a watercolour kind of way and the background. So I'm not being particularly careful about how I do this. I am literally just adding them because I want it to to tone in a bit more but because they're the metallic they do add that different finish to the rest of the gelatos which are very matte based you're also because of the fact that you've got these angles where the papers are it's sort of soaking in a little bit to the angles which I really like that finish okay I'm happy with that All that's needed now is for it to dry and then I might pop it in a frame so I will post pictures at the end of um, how it ends up at the very end of the the project once it's all dry and maybe been framed but for a piece of packaging a few pieces of paper some gelatos and a few little embellishments I am very impressed with that little piece of art and you know what it's been great fun making it 
so i hope you enjoy uh, sorry i hope you enjoyed and uh, if you did please do give me a thumbs up i'm really enjoying doing these little youtube videos and uh subscribe if you want to see more um i've got a few things planned i'm going to have another dig probably into my artful days boxes um for the next couple of ones and then maybe make some atcs as well so uh please do join me again sometime soon um take care